She is indeed, Jamie. She is indeed. But how gorgeous that you have, of course, those baboons. I think what Shongile has done is she spotted some impala that were just near Treehouse Dam. So when I came around racing and um, obviously quite excited because Herbie had called me straight in over here, I uh, I spotted this group of impala. They were just in the thicket, but they looked like they were coming out towards the dam. So I think that's what she's seen. And remember yesterday I was climbing trees and standing on termite mounds in the sunrise safari. And that's exactly what a leopard's done. Or not done, do. What's wrong with me? I'm so excited now. So it's a good spot. I also think she feels relatively safe up in a tree like this. She's not a particularly big girl. She's doubled in size since I last saw her. But she's still quite small. She, I think she's still got a little bit of growing to do. Remember, she she's very young still. And when you are so young and you are on your own, you, own, you don't have mom watching over you anymore and you are able to climb trees as well as leopards are, I think sleeping up in a tree probably feels pretty good rather than sitting on the ground where you're quite exposed to hyenas, to lions, to potential other leopards passing by or any other predator that's bigger than what she is. So up in a tree is a good spot for her. And as I mentioned earlier, she's taken after her mom. She's got the same love for marula trees. And I think that's a really great characteristic that Karula has passed on. And we miss her. We miss Karula, but at least we're still seeing Shongile. I hope that Hosanna is going to make an appearance soon. That would really just be the cherry on top of the cake, wouldn't it? Imagine, hopefully by this weekend, we get dear Hosanna popping through. And I haven't heard anything about him for quite some time, so I don't know where he is moving around. He could be anywhere. He could be lurking about on Chitwa. He could just be living in Little Gauri. And it's, I believe the vegetation is very thick in there. So it could be even more difficult to find leopards but we've got four leopards on the property that we know about Herbie saw Shadow and her little cub we saw the the Dake kill that they have just off Philemon's cut line we've got Shongile now and then we've also had Tingana with Ali of course since last night that's a beautiful shot and then of course this morning again but who knows this afternoon all these leopards could have disappeared you know what these sneaky spotted cats are like they really are the most elusive creatures in the bush but how great is that? From having no leopards to having all of this action in just a few hours. I'm sure you're all smiling from ear to ear like me. Now, Dylan, you've said that she looks thirsty. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe. It's, I think it's quite difficult to tell if a leopard looks thirsty or not. She's just sort of waking up. I don't know if she's quite decided what she's going to do. So... Again, because she's so long, she, long, oh my goodness, my words today. Because she's so young, she might not be moving around so much at night time. She could still be just moving around during the day, like we say, to avoid the larger predators that are more active during the cooler times, which would be a very clever tactic. She doesn't look like she's quite grown into her paws just yet. She's actually got lovely big paws, don't you, girl? And... Um, it's it's obviously a tough one. The water's right not far away, so so don't worry, Dylan. If uh, if you feel and you're a little bit concerned that she may be dehydrating, there's a huge dam. Treehouse Dam is probably about 200 meters away, maybe not even that far. So she'll go over there whenever she's thirsty and have a sip of water. See, at this time of the year, it's not difficult for the animals to find water. It's all over. It is going to start drying out soon. And then we, she can maybe be a little bit concerned, but she'll know where the water is. Now, she's yawning. She's looking like she's waking up. But as you know, sometimes leopards are in no hurry to go anywhere. They take their time, do 150 yawns, stretch. They lay down for a little bit, then get up again. And we'll just be patient. I'm not going anywhere. I'm totally going to sit with this girl for as long as we can. And then hopefully on the way home, we'll be able to pop past that last area where shadow was seen and who knows maybe we get a triple threat oh here we go looks like she's going to climb down now are you going to climb down you lovely lady there she goes now nikki you were wondering if i thought Ooh, careful darling dear 
That was not the most graceful dismount I've ever seen of a leopard before, but okay. She got down either way. <laughs> Sorry, Nikki. You're wondering if she's going to be a smaller shadow. I don't think she's going to be a particularly big leopard. We'll have to just sort of wait. She might have a growth spurt, and I think her size is also going to depend on how much food she eats. So the more she keeps catching, the larger she's potentially going to grow. She's in those stages now where um, she she should be growing as quickly as she can. So we, we'll just have to wait and see. Her paws are, oh, you know, they're decent size, but they're, they're not big. You can still tell her tracks apart from the other, the other female leopards. But there we go. Now, earlier we were talking about emotion. And can you tell it from their tails? Look at that. It's twitching. I think she, she's just smelling down on the ground at the moment. But she's definitely thinking. There we go. Good girl. Go towards Treehouse Dam. I think that's a good spot. She's still got a bit of a way to go, though. And I don't think she's going to race off anywhere in a hurry. But she's hungry. She's not thin. She's in fantastic condition. She's lean. And we don't normally see very overweight cats. Or sometimes they, they will gorge themselves, of course. And it looks like they've eaten a beach ball. But that disappears quite quickly. That belly in just a few hours and maybe a little bit longer than that will then go back down to normal size again oh. well this is wonderful Shongile is looking for her breakfast I think that's what she's plotting to do Tingana is just finishing his breakfast let's go watch him lick his lips